What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of Sneaker Huddle. In today's video we'll be discussing the Air Jordan 1 J Balvin will come with a bold rainbow canvas upper. It also comes equipped with jagged edge trimming that are meant to represent a cloud-like explosion. This is meant to symbolize J Balvin's source of energy. It also comes with interchangeable patches of a smiley face, a jump man, and a basketball with lightning bolts. J Balvin's thought for this was to enable wearers to customize the shoe based off of their mood or creative expression. The Air Jordan 1 J Balvin will release globally on December 8th on Nike sneakers and at the following retailers. For North American retailers, you can expect these to drop at Ama Menier, Bait, Bodega, Bows and Arrow, Concepts Corporate, Cream, Extra Butter, Feature LLC, Foot Locker. When it comes to Foot Locker, they will drop exclusively in the app via Flex. So if you are by chance a Foot Locker customer, you spend a lot of money at Foot Locker and you're in by chance, you know, Miami or New York or Chicago or Los Angeles, would definitely check out the Foot Locker app. They're also dropping at Kith, Lapstone and Hammer, No Tray, Oneness, Politics, RSVP, Shoe Gallery, Social Status, Soulfly, St. Alfred's, SBRN, The Dark Side Initiative, Trophy Room, UBIQ, Undefeated, Wish, and Exhibition. Now, if you're in North America and you have any of those retailers in your city or within a 30 mile radius, would highly recommend to look at their Instagram or their socials on Twitter and see what they're going to be doing because most likely they are going to be doing in-store raffles for those, which we are going to talk about raffles. Now here, specifically for online raffles, you can enter these right now in the description below. These are all the United States raffles. And while you're entering these raffles, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Sneaker Huddle. Now, moving on to European retailers. They are going to drop at Amongst Few, Bastile, Backdoor, BSTN, Concepts, Dover Street Market, DXB23, In Clothing, Foot District, Foot Patrol, Kicks, Kith, Offspring, One Block Down, Opium Paris, Overkill, Pata, Shinzo, SBD, Slam Jam, Sneaker Head, Sneakers and Stuff, Soulbox, Titolo, and Wonder. And once again, if you're in Europe and you are near any of those stores, once again, follow them on Instagram and Twitter or call the store or go by the store and see what procedure they're going to be doing to release this J Balvin Air Jordan 1. Now moving on to Greater China and Nike Jordan stores. They are going to be dropping at House of Innovation in Shanghai and also at Jordan and moving on to the greater China retailers, there are quite a few. I am going to put them up on the screen right now, but most of these, I do apologize, I cannot pronounce these. So I'll kind of give you guys just a couple seconds if you are by chance watching this over from China, just to see what retailers are going to be receiving them. Now moving on to Asia Pacific and Latin American and Nike Jordan retail stores that are going to be receiving the J Balvin Air Jordan 1. They are going to be dropping at Jordan Korea, Jordan Philippines, and Tokyo 23. They'll also drop at 99 Problems, Atmos Pinnacle, Invictus Madero, Kith, Latin Partners, Lust, Supply, and Titan. Now specifically, let's go back and talk about United States retailers. When it comes to European launches, most of those are going to be raffles and those European raffles can be found down below in the video description. As you can see here, we have all the European raffles and of course, right here on the screen now, I will put a list of the worldwide raffles, which the worldwide raffles, that means if you're in China, if you're in Europe, Netherlands, if you're in Canada, Mexico, United States, you can enter those worldwide raffles. So definitely do so using the link down below in the video description. But specifically guys, let's talk about the best manual sites for American users. Now, first up, we're going to talk Undefeated, which can potentially drop anywhere from 9 a.m. Eastern time all the way up to 11 a.m. Eastern time. And this is going to be a decent manual shot. When it comes to the retailers that are going to be dropping these pairs, they are extremely, extremely limited. They're going to be very difficult to cop. Um, Undefeated is not the best manual site, but in terms of the sites that are going to be receiving these pairs, it's one of the better ones. So that's the first one we are going to mention in today's video, just because it could potentially happen at 9 a.m. Eastern. Now moving on to other retailers that will likely drop at 10 a.m. Eastern or perhaps at 11 a.m. Eastern is going to be Kith. 
And once again, Kith is a decent manual shot. It's better than the other retailers, but it's not the best manual sight in the world. Just keep in mind, these sneakers are extremely limited. So the best tips for Kith and Undefeated is obviously you are going to need an account beforehand and make sure that you have all your information locked in, ready to go. Try to add the cart, get in the queue as quick as possible. Once you get through the queue, you need to have all that information locked in, ready to go and check out. And your next three shots at hitting on these are going to be on the Nike Sneakers app, which of course the Nike Sneakers app is going to drop, you know, in different regions all across the globe. And of course, sneakers is, you know, it's either hit or miss, but in terms of manual friendliness, it is a manual friendly site. It's just so difficult to hit because there's so many people that are entering because it's so easy to enter. All you have to do is it takes one minute to enter your accounts and multiple accounts. So I would highly recommend to enter as many accounts as possible. You'll likely have two minutes to enter as many accounts as possible. They will start selecting accounts at random at 10.02 Eastern Time, which is equivalent to 7.02 Pacific Standard Time. And if you are watching this from another country, you will have two minutes to enter as many accounts as possible. Now the next best shot at hitting on these sneakers is going to be through Foot Locker. Now Foot Locker will not be dropping this sneaker online. They will only drop through the Foot Locker app via Flex. And like I stated previously, they will likely only receive these sneakers in New York City, Miami, Chicago, and Los Angeles. And by chance, if you are in Europe, they might be, Foot Locker might be receiving these pairs in big cities such as London. And you guys get it in Tokyo if you're watching this over you know, from Japan, Tokyo might be receiving these sneakers for Foot Locker, but only the big cities are going to be receiving these pairs. So if you are by chance near any of those big cities that I did mention, would highly recommend to check it out via Foot Locker app. And then after that, guys, the best manual shot is going to be through the raffles. And all the raffles are down below in the video description. Now here on StockX, when we do look at the Jordan 1 Retro High J Balvin, resale is a little lower than anticipated. We did mention in our December resale video, which you can check that out right here in the top right hand corner, where we made estimated resale predictions for the entire month of December, along with every single highly anticipated sneaker drop. So would highly recommend to check that out in the top right hand corner and down below in the video description but specifically guys these have dropped quite a bit from what we did expect they're going anywhere right now from 500 to 600 us dollars and in all honesty guys i can't see them going any lower than they are right now they could potentially i believe could potentially go up in value after these sneakers do sell out because they're going to be extremely difficult to cap his fan base and presence in Colombia and all over the globe for people that love his music, they definitely want to add this sneaker to their collection, whether they're sneaker heads or not. Now, retail for the pair is 190 US dollars. And in all honesty, guys, I'm just going to give the estimated resale prediction for these to be $450 plus. Because as you can tell, most of the sizes are just right above 450 as we are about five days away from the release. So guys, that's all for today's video. Be sure to check out how to cop the Yeezy 350 V2 bread if you are by chance watching this when we get this up today. They are going to be dropping tomorrow, so you definitely want to check out that video in the top right hand corner. And also resale predictions for the entire month of December and also a schedule to what's going to be dropping, when it's going to be dropping. You definitely don't want to miss that video. Definitely check it out in the top right hand corner and the top link down below in the video description. Be sure to hit that subscribe button subscribe button right there so you never miss out on a highly anticipated sneaker drop. God bless, good luck, and have a great day.